back to the French Let's Play of uh, Victoria 2 Into the Darkness. And we are back here with Les Frances and its new empire and our clans. You know, the Z Empire of France. The new Z Empire of France. And we are continuing with this next part, which is the invasion of... Invasion of uh, Egypt. So, actually... I'm going to be docking my men right here. We're going to be having our next men move right here. Hopefully there won't be any difficulties in this. And we have our new new Le Tomps new newspaper. What has Le Tomps told us? The crisis has been averted. It is a peace for our time. Great power is announced. Emerging from the summit negotiations with the diplomatic resolution to the brewing internal crisis which many claimed might have plunged them into war with a compromise was not reached. We declare that this is no desire between our peoples to go to war against one another. The competing sides declared through careful observers took notice that one side might be perceived as the victor, leaving the other with a bitter aftertaste of the concessions and loss of prestige, threatening the longevity of the signed agreement. Yeah, no wonder. Okay, Austrian-Russian relations, and then these they expand because they want so you guys don't remember from last episode there was an eternal crisis that was quite scary in fact because um it was the united states versus great britain and they were trying to decide who would get this idaho region and the sides were very interesting and the fact that great britain had every other great power on this side except for me i was the only one who backed the united states everyone else chose great britain and so, what we saw in this was a potential just smackdown of me, because not only would I have to deal with the, like, vastly better troops of the Prussians, but also have to deal with the Spanish, the uh, Austrians, and then the Russians. The Russians would be the really scary ones, because they're honestly just, they're like hordes and hordes of men. So, that was, it was a very scary time, but we finally have... It finally had passed, and peace has returned to our nation as I go and, like, go kick the, uh, boot. Oh, shoot. Well, this, this, can I, like, retreat him this way? Dang. Well, maybe? No. We're gonna lose. Alright, another thing that's been kind of worrying me is that we've been having major rebel deployment now. I don't know why, but it seems like rebels are starting to be... The Jacobsons are actually starting to mobilize, which is not good. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to deal with that. Another thing is that we really should not have lost that battle. That just... That just made me so mad right there. But we're going to, uh... Who is our big ally right now? Whoops, meant to pause it for a second. But anyways, now that we have a new, like, naval thing, let's get some idealism. Idealism is very great for, the, for any type of time period because it gives you so much. Alright. Okay, we have... Is our troops protected? I don't think they will have enough troops to ever be able to take on my troops over here. Because... Okay, just don't... I'm, I'm trying to be nice to the leaders right now, but they are really... Dang. You know, this, this is why you need suppression reform, but I think I know the reason why. Well, let's... 9.3. I think we just have to pass some of my reforms. Um, first off, like I said, we're outlawing slavery. Slavery should not be allowed in this world anymore. I'm a firm believer in that. No matter any game, even if it helps my country out, like, you know, in stats and stuff, I will not advocate for slavery. It just does not work for me. Okay, and then you guys head over here. We're going to help with the uh, invasion. And I guess I was kind of right in my prediction that there was going to be a battle. Just I was slightly off on where it would be. And who was going to be the victor. So, but we're just kind of... Oh, shoot. Well, how close is my military? Okay, my military is right there. So if they try to do anything, I have a good, good 32, 
Agitation dies down. Finally, the sound of rain falling on the deserted square is deafening. A tad parliament thrown in the gutter, the inkling, ah, oh, good. France, it is soon swept away by the rain. Good. So it seems like my campaign is kind of working, but it's really not. It's kind of like a... It's working, but it's not working. If that makes any sense, please tell me. Right now. Right now. Just tell me. Okay? We have military men, some elite military men coming in to go kick these guys' butts. Because obviously, I don't... Classics we discovered. I already said this. And... Look at this! Look at this! What? 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 What was that? Did, did I just see that correctly? You just lost all your men? Oh, speaking of which... Last. Uh, against Morocco. Okay, I really don't care. Okay, while we're here... That does give me kind of a, uh... Thing where I have to rebuild my army. I mean, my army just kind of like... So, four men... Uh, a couple cavalry, two cavalry, and two. Actually, I'll make it six. There we go. That should be my new army size. That's going to be like my standard army. Six ca six troops, two cavalry, and two, two elite destroyers. Okay, and it seems like... Huh. The Jacobson Rebels have risen. How much are they at strength? 78, probably. Shoot. Okay. Go hunt Rebels. Go hunt Rebels. Ah, shoot, most of my army is the Jacobson. How does that even manage? Why? What is the appeal of the Jacobsons? What do they promise you? Except for death and death. Hopefully, my friends will, ha will be able to deal with that. Right now, I'm dealing with the war. Okay? Yeah, I'm so imperialistic. I don't even care about my own people. I just care about if the war is going good. Okay, let me move back my soldiers to go kick off these guys from my province. It should be weak enough to where they die. Okay? Victory, victory. I expect it. My military is more trained than the Jacobsons. That's also what I don't get. Okay, damn that. You have to start conquering this region. Mm. Okay, did the capital fall? Okay, all the rebels seem to be dying. That's good. The capital has almost fell. Oh, actually, the capital did fall. Cairo has fallen. Yay! Mm. And we can sphere the two Sicilies. Or at least increase public opinion of us. No, add the sphere. Yep. Okay, now we have basically all of... Wow, we have basically all of the uh, Italian states underneath our control, except for the Austrian ones. Okay, I'm going to have to wait. Okay, ah, stop. Too many things happening at once. So, yeah, it seems like our army pretty much cleared up the entire, like, problems. Did any of our army spawn? No, it did not. That's good. That's seriously a good sign. When none of our armies spawned when that was happening, that was good. Because we honestly did not need to deal with that. And we have a little tiny 2% army trying to, like, regain its former land. I'll deal with it if it actually becomes a threat. Like, right now, it's just kind of cute. It's trying to, like, reconquer its land in the name of patriotism. Ah, <sighs> poor, poor nation. It's suffering a lot for me, just, like... I don't know, being the big brother and telling it, Oh, it's going to be alright. We're just going to kill you guys. Oh, we're well, on pause. <laughs> I was like, so I was just ranting there for no reason, everyone. Just don't mind me, don't mind me. Okay. Okay. Got that. Move them here. Eh. And yeah, now we got a good... Unless there's soldiers... Whatever soldiers are here and here, I got them now blocked off. So now that we have complete advantage point to just take completely take more land if we want to. If we want to right now. Right now it's just right now we're just kinda like Hamburg goes bankrupt. I could force them to repay debts. Which I don't see why. It wouldn't really give me any causes value. It would just be like Yeah, force me just yeah, you just remember to repay your debts. And because I, I couldn't resist killing off these guys. They they were just so sad, I just could not. 
They just could not resist. So now they're dead. Now let's go move into Manitoba. Take over this region. Suez now taking over at Tish. Next region. Ah. And now I can start like just holding the line right here. Mm. Shouldn't be much longer. I mean these guys these guys have basically nothing. Ah. And I have everything. So and a newspaper! Le Toms! What does it say? War between Spain and Egypt. What? Huh? Didn't see that one. And prices collapse. In eighteen thirty says the price of artillery has dropped like a rock. Well that stinks. So I think we only have one factory that is artillistically bound, but the rest of them are doing pretty good. I mean we have a pretty we have a pretty good economy for right now. Like for our times, it's not like great like like Germany's. How is wait, how is Germany's beating us? Okay, there is some problem with this. If Germany is beating us, there is some problem with this. Alright. And I don't know what it is, but it better be resolved next time I I come on, because Germany should not have a better economy than us. At least at this point. Because I've been like trying to support my economies. I've been not taxing the poor that much. I've been giving okay, are you guys ready to admit defeat? Yes, proceed. We weren't we weren't there to like give massive, massive overhaul to like independence or anything. We just wanted the Suez Canal, which is what we got. Yippee! Good riddance. And how much debt do we did we get up? Uh roughly about four forty eight thousand. Okay. We can get that back in a couple in a couple times. We just need to like wait a little bit. And even when we're not like taxing these guys fully. Like I'm fully trying to be fair to them right now. Alright, yeah, you guys still need to be taxed just a little bit, but I'm seriously giving them like the benefit of the doubt. Like not many taxes. Um giving them like luxury goods. These guys are these guys have it easy. I don't even know why you guys would want to be bound. I'm not like a tyrannical dictator, I'm just trying to watch out for our empire, and trying to create a new one, which has eventually worked, so, we have our next section of the map covered, mm-hmm, that's good, so good, alright, and I'll move these guys back here, because we all know what the next part is, Argentina, can I now justify, choose with Argentina, dang, I still have to choose with Argentina, so no, so what I could do is I could go to war with with uh, Colombia, which I could liberate a country, free people, or I could acquire a state. I'm gonna try acquiring a state. Don't know how well this is gonna work. Hopefully to my advantage, because this is probably one of the last nations I need to go to. And how is the Nam? Is the Nam still? Yep, it's still allied with China. You're just gonna keep relying with China, aren't you? For shame. For shame. Okay. No, actually what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go send these guys and new new newspaper! War between Belgium and Netherlands! What? Okay, didn't see that one coming. Okay, Sweden fears of might. Belgium relations, France expands, breakthrough and propel states, British collapse. Okay. So most things I know. Okay, you guys, actually, wait, wait, you guys, um, I'll have you guys go hang out in my little colony over here, on Guadalupe, okay, and we're just gonna chill there until we need to go in and go invade the, uh, Colombians, because right now, they're at the weakest point, dang, they're at the weakest point they're ever gonna be, and let me just make sure... Yeah, okay, so that infamy will actually be good, because it'll take about a couple of years for me to ever, to like, be able to like, regain Argentina, or to be able to even get, it causes belly to get Argentina, so, having that, having that infamy is not going to be bad, because, you know, once you, as long as I don't pass 25, we're okay, because we all know what happens when you pass 25, once you pass 25, they start coming at you. All the great powers start coming at you like rabid dogs. It, it, I mean, the game becomes like almost impractically playable because they just rip your nation to shreds and start splitting everything up. 
I mean, the worst I've ever seen in France is in my Italian, like, Let's Play off to the side, where I conquered Michelle, the British owned, owned this top region, Russia owned Brittany, and Germany owned, like, over here. I mean, France wasn't even really France anymore. It was just a conglomeration of nation states. And it, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it was kinda sad to see them like that. And it seems like they're much more, I think, we're finally getting that steel factory I wanted. It took me so long to finally get these guys the... <sighs> sometimes, just sometimes, okay. I think now it's, I think we have enough to like repay our debts. Do, do, do. Okay, paid off some of our debts. And it's alright if we own the majority of our... Oh, loans given. Loans taken. Oh. Wow. Wow. Loans taken. Okay, it seems like most of our investors are people that will either like us or will not do anything about us. Taking their money. Okay. Ooh. Something we do have to do now that I'm not distracted. Is combine all these newly built forces and blah and blah. Okay, and time to build another branch of army. So one, two, four. Yeah, I'll build it a little bit smaller this time. Two and one. Seven forces. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All these things I'm trying to do. And yes, research points. We finally researched uh, idealism. So what are we going to research next? Um, I think we should actually, now that we've kind of... We actually have a reason to get some iron and coal mines. Because we actually do have some places that need it. So we're going to go here next. Invest a little bit in our industry. Okay, let me now influence this. The French Autonaut Francois Ablin has become the first man to cross the Alps in a balloon. S starting in Michelle's, he landed in Stumpy. A great achievement. <laughs> well, if you say so. I would not know anything about, you know, flying and stuff, but... Oh, the newspaper just came out too. War between Halez and Najed. I don't really care. You know... The United Kingdom goes to war. It now goes to war against Marco. Um, Danish research complete. French research complete. Prices and nothing. Latence. Nothing else interesting in Latence. So let's just continue with our kind of economy driven status right now. As we just kind of try to figure out the nice sweet spot right now. I'm not taxing the rich at all, but the rich, I, I honestly feel, aren't doing much for my country. So they should honestly pay a little bit more than what the, they are currently. Because they're annoying me right now. They seriously are annoying me. So that should, like, drastically increase our economics for this country. Yep, they did. Now we're good. Now we're good. So, next part is to just wonder, hmm... How are we going to accomplish our invasions? And did our ships survive? Yes, so... Right now, the United States is still at war with Colombia, but the Colombian war should be over pretty soon. Which means we could probably... I mean, this, this war between us and them is not even going to really be a challenge. I feel like we're just going to go in and just murder them. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Okay. Um, let's see how the Rebels are doing. Um, still have an 81 from the Jacobsons. Jacobsons definitely love to rebel. They love the idea that I'm going to somehow grant them, I don't know, love them for what they did. And, you know, give them all praise and glory for re trying to spread, spread their idealistic ways across my country. I don't know. I think that's what they're hoping, though. I think that's what they're hoping. Okay? But we finally, we're finally like almost done with phase one of my plan. Like we only have 
after after we do the Colombian exchange, we only have two more regions to do. And by then, I'm hoping that some kind of like event will happen with Russia, so Russia will go to war with China, and then so then I can go take it over. Cause that'd be great. I already have some soldiers over here, and they're just kind of chilling, like. Yeah, just chilling. Speaking of which, I should probably like upgrade some of this because if I ever go to war against, I don't know, like not Spain but UK, this place would be a great, a very crucial point to like hold. All right, so let us continue like casually repaying our debts because we had a lot of it. I didn't expect how much we had. I mean, wow. We can really rack up the debt when we want to. Uh, and how is our... Ooh, another Litomps newspaper. What does it say? Libish insults. The prices collapse. Clipper convoys. Um, Portugal expands. What? Portugal expands to the province of Petit. Now belongs to the Portuguese. The foreign minister of Portugal looks rather pleased in a recent interview. Now think, the Serb demanded in his writing the unity of all southern Serbs in the struggle against the Austrian Ottoman oppressors. So, does that mean that there's now going to soon be a crisis or something going to start? Or what does that mean? I don't know. But I do like the sound of that because I was, like I said, I am thinking about messing around with the Balkans. And since I've, own, I've had most of the... Sicily sphere and Belgian's still a great power. Ah, dang it! Oh shoot! Dang it! Okay, and let's see. You guys go right here. I'm so sorry. You guys might all die. Actually, we're gonna go try to save this one too. Go right here. He's a part of your brethren, so go save him. You guys, go hunt down rebels, go help hunt down these. Okay, yes, yeah, so and now we have the advantage on our side. Okay, you guys, go hunt down the rebels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I said, go hunt down the rebels. And, wow, just the rebels in this game. Ah, so annoying. Okay, and we almost, our entire administration is almost the most effective in the world. We almost got 92 administration, and... How are we doing on the Kalza Spelly? 98%. That's good. We're almost there. We're almost. Almost there. Okay, there we go. We just have to get our ships in position. Get our troops on here. Move right here. Do 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 do. Mm. I mean, we could wait a little bit more and wait for them to, like, finish up, but, eh. Time's a-wasting. Alright. And, wait, who are the allies? Allied with Mexico and Peru. Hmm. They're not gonna help. Okay. Declare war. Quiet state of Panama. And can I call on any of my allies? Very likely, very likely, very likely. Colombian War! Yay! Mm-hmm. All I have to... I mean, all I have to really do is just... Make sure they... They die. I mean, make sure that I get, like, a good enough amount of land, and they'll just die. I mean, I honestly don't see these guys as major threats. I mean, the rebels are more threats to me than the... Oh, dang. <sighs> no, I'm gonna try to be nice. But dang, you guys make me so mad to be nice. Okay. You guys go down here. You guys actually go right there. I need you guys to go exactly where I tell you to. This is that battle's not turning out very good for us right now. 
Oh, dang, we actually lost. Dang, these... I really don't want to micromanage this battle because now I'll just get annoyed with it. No, save the stupid... No! Don't you dare die! Yes! Okay, there we go. Now we're teaching these rebels who's the boss. Okay, we taught those rebels who was the boss right there. And we're gonna go move our troops right over there. Go like, help with... Troop. Mm-hmm. And... You guys, no. You guys are kind of weakened right now. So you guys just go and help join another battle. Okay. Columbia Exchange, how's that going? Wow! The Americans made it really easy for what I need to do. I mean, it's not even like a challenge. Okay, and I'm just going to... Because they... Because if you guys didn't see, America decided to take something from Colombia. So I'm just going to go send my troops up here. Coal mining. We now have uh, effective coal mines. And newspaper. War between Bolivia and Argentina. The Berman assaults a new patient inventionism. Breakthrough in Urgundy. The zoological garden and Denmark relations. And with that people, I'm sorry, but I think the episode's running a little bit long. So I'll see you guys next time.